Hey there, everybody. This is Jeff from App Advice. Here to take you on a tour through the new iCloud Photo Library support that's showing up in the next version of TVOS. Right now, I'm running the beta TVOS 9.2 beta 2 and iPhoto or iCloud photo support has just shown up. Now, in order to access your iCloud photo library, it, at least in the beta, is turned off by default. So you need to go into the Settings app, then go to Accounts, go into iCloud, and turn on iCloud photo library. Now, as we go through this, bear in mind that this is a beta and there are some bugs. So it's not going to work quite the way I would like it to just yet. But it's pretty exciting to see it added in. The Photos app, you'll see your photos, your shared albums, and your albums. Some reports have said that albums you create don't show up. Uh, I found that albums that I created do show up just fine. Uh, smart albums will not show up with the exception of the recently added album, but uh, that may change in later versions. One thing that does not work is any sort of slideshow. You cannot do a slideshow. If I hit play, nothing happens here. It just stays on the same image. I can move between images by swiping on my Siri remote. So I can go through my various images one at a time, but there's no way to make them automatically play. Video support is working. I've tested that. It's working with some videos. For example, this video plays fine on my Apple TV. Now, on the other hand, if I go into my slow-mo folder, a video that I took in slow motion, again, this is beta software. This will probably be fixed by the time 9.2 goes to public. Okay, so that's your that's your album support. It does show all of my albums, as you can see. Now the only thing that's not showing up very well at this point, because it's a beta, any images that I took in 2000, it's only through. October 10th of 2015. Now, what I haven't been able to show you are the crashes that the Photos app goes through. Oh, there we had one. Again, beta software, crashes are going to happen. But there you have iCloud photo library support on the Apple TV. Eventually, live photo support will show up as well. Um, the release notes say that it's already there, but I haven't been able to get it to work. But eventually it will be there, so your live photo shot on an iPhone 6S or iPhone 6S Plus will be able to display just the same way that you would on your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned to App Advice for more news and information related to... Apple TV, iPhone, and the iPad.